For post-production work, one of the fundamental questions is, what is my dialogue level against the music bed? That's almost impossible to judge from a peak level meter. But if you're using a loudness meter, if you're using our radar meter, you get it right away. Measuring loudness has become key in video and audio and post-production. Adobe has recognized this and now bundles our loudness radar with Premiere and Audition. Measuring loudness is important, especially if you deliver content for broadcast, as there are certain standards that have to be followed. By using the loudness radar in Premiere and Audition, you can be sure to always deliver compliant content and not risk having your files rejected by the client. One of the great things about the new loudness standards is that you can do most of the work in post-production. If you do it right in post-production, your program is not touched downstream and it will be intelligible and it will be in perfect balance. Many stations put value into receiving files that are already loudness normalized, as they can broadcast without altering the audio any further and thereby keep audio at its finest. We're used to meters that go up and down showing the level as it is right now. But with the radar, we have the history and we show it in a circle which means that we can zoom as we want. We can show one minute, four minutes, one hour, 24 hours in a circle. That makes it very efficient at having consistent mixes over time. The loudness radar in Premiere and Audition builds on our legendary LM6 radar loudness meter. It provides a complete loudness landscape overview at a glance. You can monitor loudness history on the revolving radar. You can monitor momentary loudness on the outer ring and you also get a true peak clip indicator. Finally, you can monitor two very important parameters, program loudness and loudness range at any time. The old standard was based on peak level, which means that we got systematic differences between, for instance, commercials and uh, regular programming or between uh, film and regular programming and commercials. The new standard is based on a perceptual measure that's taking a long time to develop, but instead of just using a peak level measure that was a technical measure, we now have a measure that relates to our senses, to our sense of hearing, basically. The loudness radar supports all major international broadcast standards. Why are these broadcast standards important, you might ask? It's all about eliminating systematic and annoying loudness jumps between programs and television, which have been causing severe viewer complaints. The reason why we contributed so much to these new standards is that we felt early on that this was the right thing to do for audio. We've been studying the loudness wars for years, and this was a big step in the right direction. It's also a big step for the engineer, because it's a big help when you're actually mixing the program. You can balance music and speech much better than you could before, and you can make much more consistent programs. The loudness radar will give you an overview that you can use as an indicating tool while mixing. When the mix is done, measure your entire project and watch the program loudness numeric value closely. Depending on what standard you want to comply with, simply adjust the offset gain level accordingly. So one of the good things about the new loudness standards is that we operate with a target level. So in the US that would be minus 24, and the radar always keeps that on the bold line. So when you go above your target, you go into the yellow area, and if you go below the target, you go into the green area. Both of it is allowed, but you have to balance it around the target. And if you go way low, you go into a blue area, where you go into a background mode, where you could not expect the audience to hear the audio anymore. So regardless of which standard your client adheres to, by using the loudness radar in Premiere and Audition, you can deliver loudness-compliant content with ease.